close to where British Columbia's NHL team plays is Victoria, where every kid grows up wanting to play here. And for one late bloomer, it was no sure thing. But now, he's got the entire hockey world's attention. And he'll continue to battle till the very end, regardless of how long the odds. Because it's all the Dallas captain knows. Jamie Benn and the Stars come to Vancouver, British Columbia to finish up their trip through Western Canada inside Rogers Arena tonight. Trevor Daly will be on the ice for the Stars against the Vancouver Canuck team who is in the playoffs now and hanging on and hoping tonight to take an opportunity of a team who played last night where the Stars did not pick up two points. They remain eight points out of a playoff spot with seven to play. San Jose won today, so the Stars now have to hop three team. The, the odds are indeed long for Dallas. Welcome to Dallas Stars Hockey along with Daryl Ray. I'm Ralph Stranges for the Dallas Stars, and if you watched that game last night, eh, it was an opportunity that went by the wayside, and it was nowhere near the game they wanted to play. No, they got what they deserved, though, in, in the end. They, they were not a good team from the opening faceoff to the final buzzer in their own zone, in the offensive zone. They, they had no varnish to their attack in the game and no, no resistance to the Edmonton Oilers' attack. So it was an oddity because they played so well for well over a month now. I think this is a good night tonight though for an injection of ability to come back in. They're, they're going to get exactly that with Trevor Daly coming back from an 11 game absence. He got dinged in the knee by Matt Martin in Dallas when they were playing the New York Islanders. So Trevor's been out for three and a half weeks. Martin missed one game with a suspension because of that. Stars missed one of the real triggers in their transition game and it interrupted uh, career year for Trevor. 16 goals for him. He was second in the league in defenseman goals when he got injured. And a lot, a lot of them lately too. You know, eight goals in the last 21 games that he's played. They come from all over the place for him too. He scores on the power play, half a dozen there. A couple of shorthanded goals, lots of even strength on the rush as well as on the power play. And at the on the other side of the puck, his defending game. The only guy that plays more minutes than Trevor Daly night in and night out is Alex Goligoski. So you get a stout defender coming back into the fold for the Stars. We're going to see what kind of an impact Trevor can have coming back into the lineup here tonight and whether last night was just a hiccup for this club. Vancouver Canucks, meanwhile, are in the playoffs right now. And after this one tonight, they go on the road for four at Central Division playoff teams. So you got to think they want to take full advantage of this opportunity. Well, there's no doubt. They haven't beat the Stars this season uh, either. That's in the back of their minds, but they're holding on to second in their division by a thread, and they have not played that well against teams like Dallas coming in here tonight that played the night before uh, against tired teams. They've, they've, they've lost a lot of those games here on home ice. The big concern, I think, for the Stars here tonight, no shock to anybody, would be the Twins, the Sedin Twins, Daniel and, and Henrik. I'm, I always find it just remarkable when you juxtapose their statistics, they're, they're identical just like their images are. You know, 74 games, both of them play that. They play about the same amount as far as ice time. Their points are exactly the same. They're off by a, an assist by one and a goal by one. The big difference, those shots. Uh, Daniel with over twice as many as Henrik. However, the goal scorer lately of the two has been the setup, Sedin, if you will. Daniel has not been doing the scoring. It's been Henrik. Eight goals in the last 18 games for him. I think it really uh, underscores what's going on here for the Canucks this season where they've had nice balance to their attack and some guys you don't expect to score goals are doing exactly that. Daniel only has scored in, what, six games since uh, Christmas. So the big key when you're playing against the Canucks and playing against the Sedins, you have to guard them, not him. It's a, always a two-man act. Seems like the music has come back on here at Rogers Arena. And when we come back, a couple of guys who can hit just the right notes on the power play in the spotlight. Third and final meeting. Stars looking to sweep the Canucks. They shut them out here earlier this season. Tonight's spotlight brought to you by the New Braunfels Convention and Visitors Bureau Razor, the power play guys. Well, the respective team power play goal leaders are enjoying career years in the category. Tyler Sagan and Radim Verbata, 11 each to rank top 10 in the National Hockey League in that category. Seventh, in fact, for both of them. And very similar... And how they go about their business with the extra man. 
Tyler Sagan, five of his last seven goals overall have come on the power play. He's wicked. He's lethal from that left wing side. Right shot, left wing side. He can one-time the puck from over there and shoot it off the gift. Same thing with Verbata. Right shot, left wing side. Gets it away in a hurry. A lot of the time from a real severe angle and a lot of real estate for a netminder to try to cover to get across there and do it. Only three power play goals for him, though, since mid-January. See if they cash in in this one tonight. Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks will drop the puck from Vancouver, British Columbia next. Dallas Stars Hockey on Fox Sports Southwest is brought to you by Ford. It's Ford Truck Month that you're best in Texas Ford. Visit TexasFord.com for details. By Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at Southwest.com. And by Nissan, get great offers on our exciting full line only at Nissan now. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Picturesque Vancouver, British Columbia tonight. The Stars and the Canucks. And let's see if you guessed right as we move to our starting goaltenders. Well, it's his 63rd appearance of the season for Kari Lettinen. And, and back where he was... Guilty of larceny in mid-December. A 2-0 shutout of the Canucks, really a 1-0 game. The other end, Eddie Lack, who was at the other end that night as well. He is a somewhat pedestrian 8-7-1 here at Rogers Arena. Taking over in Ryan Miller's absence since the injury. And Vern Fiddler starts at center ice between Brett Ritchie and Jamie Benn. Up against the Sedins, Henrik. In the middle, Daniel to his left and Alex Burrows. The Stars open with Alex Goligoski and John Klingberg on the back end. We should mention that with Daly coming back in, it was well-timed, I guess, as Jordy Ben has a back injury, soreness, and so he's out tonight. When you recall, the, just when Nemeth was ready is when Daly was hurt. So those things work themselves out sometimes. Yannick Weber, Dan Hamuse on the back end for the Canucks. Puck dropped at center, and Jamie Benn taps it back. And tussles with Alex Burrows. Goligoski with a pass ahead. Off Weber and into the zone. Brett Ritchie screaming after the puck, and Hamuse in the corner. Fiddler following up. They all collide back at the net center. Benz alone, a shot save, Lack in front. Klingberg fired it to the far side. Burroughs getting over there. Richie leaning on him there. And as Burroughs falls, he turns over the puck. Henrik Sedin out to center ice. And John Klingberg moved it ahead to Spezza as the stars are changing. Spezza and Hamuse tangle at center ice. Richie cleared it out. Spezza will take it over. All the way off to Eves for a shot. Save Lack and two sharp stops early for the Vancouver Netminder. Yeah, really good. The last one caught him in the mask as he dealt with Eves' blast. Jamie Benn was dead in the slot. The Canucks get tied up. Uh, Weber, the defenseman at the Stars bench, and then everybody came in. Very re reminiscent of what went on in the opening shift last night in Edmonton where all the Canucks this time came back, stared at the puck behind the net. Ben. Skate boot to stick and stone by Eddie Lack from about 15 feet. Jason Spezza, Bo Horvat in the faceoff circle. Hansen jumped it. And it's pitched down the boards. Ronald Kenson. Stars find the puck. Trevor Daly dodging a hit, shot it out. And... Here comes Spies up the middle of the ice. Off to Horvat. Moving to his left. Hansen to Horvat back of the net. And it's on the back of the net. Picked loose by Daly. Horvat goes barreling in after the puck. Eakin comes away with it for the Stars. Trevor thought there was going to be a whistle with the puck on the netting. It doesn't happen very much. The nets are usually pretty taut. Ben's back out here with usual line mates Eakin and Sagan who fires it. That one blocked by Hansen. Jamie Ben pitches it around behind. Eakin centered it off a stick. Jokipaka shooting it wide of the net. Jason Demers from the right point. Sagan has it cocked. Now he fires. Ben scores on the rebound. What a start for Jamie Ben. It's 1-0 Dallas. An early double shift for the Stars captain. And the Canucks with a, another woeful start to their tilt here at home. 
Ben gets out here with his regular crew, goes right to the front of the net. Tanev tries to front the original shot, and obviously the goaltender, Lack, had difficulty with, with it, couldn't control it. Ben wins the joust, has a peek at the crease to make sure he's not in there and interfering with the net miner. Gets a gift, turns around, wipes it into the net. The Stars' leader in, in road offense, that's his 16th goal away from home and his 37th point in 38 games. What more do you want from the captain? 28th goal all told. Verbata bumps it across the Dallas line and then he's hit. And Klingberg easing it out to Richie, who backs his way toward the line. Edler there to fight him off. Now it's Horkoff with Richie and McKenzie. The combination's been together for a couple of weeks and they've been good. Horkoff reaching for the puck, it gets past him at center ice. Very different game than last night already. Uh, there's gonna be body contact and plenty of it uh, in this tilt here tonight. Last night it was stick check, swing, skate. Pass ahead, Fiddler will take the line. That's Ryan Garbutt who's back in after sitting for four straight games. Colton Sevier draws out. Puck ahead to Matthias at the Dallas line, working his way in, drops to Bay. Bay tried to center it. Daly blocks the pass with his skates, and the net is dislodged as Dorsett is in the middle of things with Roussel, and here we go. Gloves are down. Dorsett throwing rights. Roussel hanging on. He hasn't thrown a punch yet. Now he throws a left. Dorsett pumping rights. Roussel trying to get back in there with a short right. They're up against the boards and glass, and just as Dorsett goes down, Roussel had it cocked, and he didn't pull the trigger. Not many guys get the jump and an active start on Antoine Roussel when they get into fisticuffs. But Dorsett did. He was a busy guy early. It all started with a, a calamity at the net. There was going to be a penalty, I believe, whether it was the original drive to the net by Dorsett or Roussel going in and grabbing him. And away they went. Eric Dorsett's going to go over 100 penalty minutes just at home with that one. As they'll each add it for five minutes and we'll see if there's anything extra out of it. That'll bring their combined totals to over 300 Peppy, penalty A uh, peppy start to this one. And uh, no shock, you got two coaches that were mighty ticked off at how their clubs came out and played in their last games. Willie Desjardins and the Colorado Avalanche got, got, or they got drilled by the Avalanche here in their last one, four to one, especially early. And of course the Stars coming off the four cop loss in Edmonton last night. Purcell and Dorsett sit, no penalties are posted, so we're five aside. Alex Edler shoots it in, he leads their back end with 23 points. Emmerich and Daniel Coley to connect 66 points overall. We told you about that off the top. Eakin looking forward at center ice. Edler shot it on in. Move Tyler Sagan back to wing here tonight, too. Playing right wing. Cody Eakin back to center ice. So a little manipulation of the lineup for Lindy Ruff. And an icing against Dallas. You know, too much individual play and not enough team concept last night for Lindy's liking. And just awful with their accuracy and, and execution on scoring opportunities. So I think what you can look for here tonight, pucks behind the Canucks D, smart high forward uh, four check. That third guy has to stay up high. They gave up way too many odd man rushes against and better tracking. The forwards coming back to help this decor. The goal incidentally, Ben's 28th from Sagan and Demers at 154. Ben Sagan, 1-2 in Dallas scoring. Ben picking up point number 72. Sagan has 68. Stars win the faceoff. Patrick Nemeth, a little too far for Sagan at center ice. Adler hinging it back. Tanev shot it in. Lettinen leaves for Nemeth. Turns it over. Kennan's shot it. Save Lettinen. And Nemeth shoved by Horvat, who takes over the puck. Throws it back out on top. Tanev to Hamus. Looking, shooting, Lettinen finds it. Well, Patrick Nemeth last night, and he wasn't alone in this, but it was his worst game since coming back uh, from that laceration to his wrist. And he gets loose with this pass and gets beat on a puck right near the net physically in order for the Canucks to rotate and get some danger in and around Kari Lettinen. He did multitask in front of the net. 
Stars win the face up. Yoki Pakas pass. Almost intercepted by Benino. And it's Hemsky pursuing Hamus. Ellis Hemsky started the trip with his first two goal game as a star in Calgary. Benino back into the Dallar. Verbata shooting over the top of the net. And this is what happened to the Stars last night. They'd get great looks and miss the net completely. Well, Dallas makes a, a big time mistake way up the ice. It's brisk puck movement by the Canucks to move it the entire width of the rink to spring Verbata. Who dusted it off and you can hear it catch glass in behind. The, the Stars though chasing back to their net. They, they cannot do that here again tonight. They did it throughout the contest last night in Edmonton. Stars ripped off the first four shots of this game. Vancouver has answered with three straight. John Klingberg back of his net. Richie accepts the pass and then tosses it right into the middle of the ice. Spies and knocks it down. Hansen overskates it at the Dallas line. McKenzie hits him in front of the Dallas bench. Linden Bay shoots it in. And Klingberg beats him to the puck. Takes it back to the net. Fights through a stick. Richie, his pass hits Horkoff, stays in. Bay shot. Fought off by Kari Lettinen. Matthias deep to Bay. Klingberg hanging on to him. Hansen rotating out. Goes to the far side. Spees a shot at wide. And the net again comes dislodged. More contact right next to Kari Lettinen. So it's pretty good work by a couple of guys that that have been real good for the Canucks this season. Lyndon Bay in, in particular. He was multi speaking of multitasking, he's down in the corner. Puck comes right to him as he tried to pick up his own glove. They continued on, got a real good tester on Kari Lettinen on the short side. Matthias is another guy who's been uh, good for them here. You know, their depth has been excellent. They roll four lines. Same idea that the Stars have received this season. They, they play four lines. It's four line league now. Keep that energy up. Henrik, for Vern Fiddler. Fiddler wins the faceoff. Daly to Nemeth. Shot it out to center ice. Henrik shot it back across. Jamie Ben there to pick up the puck. Here comes Nemeth. Rink wide to Garbett. Hit his skate. Henrik trying to counter. Garbett fought back to take it away. Hamus traversing the Dallas line, giving it to Daniel Sedin. Shot it off Daly, sticking out of play. Double shift for Jamie Ben again with. Antoine Roussel in the penalty box. Well, as you enjoy a cold one tonight, remember Miller time is coming up later in the game. Brought to you by Pilsner Brewed Miller Lite. Yeah, he is all over this one in the early going. Jamie Ben, he, the Ben boys from a ferry right away on Vancouver Island. Victoria, the provincial capital. You know, he's all charged up for this one, as should McKenzie be. He's got a boatload of McKenzie lovers at the game tonight. He tripped up on his way to the puck, but no call here. I, he may have embellished that one just a, just a little. tad too much to get the call. Puck shot in. Horvath centers, and it's blocked by Klingberg in front on Kennens. Spezza shot it up. Tanev holding the line. Arnold Kennens, 24-year-old Latvian, turned it over. Spezza to Eves. Wanted to work it back to Hamski. Canucks collapse and kick it out. Here comes Hansen again, leaving it. Kennens shooting wide of the net. And Hemsky plowed but got it out of the zone. Spiza, near side, ran into Demers. Jamie Ben seemingly been on the ice the entire first period. Got away from Verbata, had trouble with his own guy, Yoki Paka, and then prevails to get it over to Tyler Sagan. Shot it wide of the net. Eakin kicked it back out to Yoki Paka, who has to come to center ice and then fire it across. Lucas Spiza over. Kevin Bieksa. Rink wide to Verbata. He leads the Canucks with 29 goals. Henrik and Matthias have 17 to trail him. They have just the 120 goal man. Verbata centers. Eakins there to cover up on Higgins. And Jokipaka back of the net. Pass out to McKenzie. Rink wide to Eakin. Caught it with the skate. One on one against Hamus. Cutting to the net. He's taken down on his way to the goal. And probably just the penalty here. And more pushing after the whistle. It's a lively start here tonight. So the Stars strike first. Their captain, 
Jamie Benn gives them the 1-0 lead with family and friends. Tough one to nothing. A couple of good chances, though, for the Canucks. Verbata earlier, Kennan's on this. This is, a, this is a corpulent rebound off the right pad and a stunning save with the left pad in tight. That's that's good concentration out of Kari Lettinen after he made a mess of the original bid. Last year, this would have been a good play. This year, trip up a player, even though you got the puck first, you're going to the box. That's where Hamus is. Stars on the power play. Their power play came up empty last night, 0 for 3. They're 1 for 10 on the trip after the 1 for 7 in Calgary. And Klingberg will give it to Sagan. Vancouver penalty killing, top five. Klingberg, Sagan, Edler stepped up at center ice, reading the play, but Nino shoots it in. Here comes Klingberg again to Ben. Took it over, shot it around. Brett Ritchie angled it right to Hansen, backhanding it to the line, and Klingberg fought to keep it in, but he played the puck with a high stick, and Hansen will shoot it out. Good play by Spezza not to play that puck. If he did, the faceoff comes all the way back down. I don't know why the Canucks played it, to be honest yeah, with you. I don't know either, but now here comes Hansen trying to beat Klingberg, can't get past him. You know, just let it sit there. You're, you're extinguishing this power play for the Stars if you just allow it to oscillate on the ice like that. So our second unit comes on now. Alex Goligoski on the wing to Hemsky. Couldn't get past Biza. Demers rockets it around the boards out of BX's reach for Horkoff. Tried to go deep to Fiddler. Fiddler speeds a jockey for the puck back of the net. Orkoff came in to hit the pile. Demers holding it in at the line. Out to Goligoski. Pulls it down and away from the diving Horvat who comes out to challenge him. Passing to Demers. Chipping it over to Hemsky. Hemsky looking interior. One man on top, it's Demers. Now Hemsky leaves it along the boards for Horkoff. Fiddler rotates to the front of the net. He'll leave it for Hemsky. Banks it out to Demers. Passing over to Goligoski. Out to Hemsky. Just missed it. And it's cleared by Burroughs. Boy, they had him dead a couple of times. That looked like Alex Goligoski in this second unit. They like to run him down the back door on the left wing side. He was open. Didn't get the puck. Obviously, Horvat battling up top to get in that lane. And then Hemsky double clutching. Here comes Ryan Garbett. Backhand shot off the side of the net. He'll pick it up. Center it. Weber, who's out of the box, stars are 0 for 1 on the power play there to break it up, and it's cleared to Trevor Daly at center ice. Henrik Sedin challenging him. Verbata tried to two-hand it deeper. Garbutt to Eakin at center ice, and Weber stashing it back for Edler. Off Daniel and in. Pretty much guaranteed who's coming off the bench for the Canucks out of a power play for the other team. It's going to be the Twins. They don't kill penalties. Get some tired players perhaps on the other side. Garbutt cradled that puck, left it off for Eakin, waiting for help on the change, goes across the ice to Richie out of the corner. He overskates the puck, and there's Daniel. Daniel, the second overall pick in 99. Henrik, the third. Daniel wears 22. Henrik wears 33. Here's Demers. Yoke Paka has to go back for the puck. Hansen breathing down his neck. Hansen centers it. Cannon shot it. Save Lettinen. Richie scrambling over to Claire, and then Spiza puts him into the Dallas bench ahead of schedule. Kennan's back. He takes a good stiff check from McKenzie. Bieksa with the pass. A little too far for Benino, and that's icing against Vancouver. Boy, there, there's, there's a lot going on in this one tonight. The Stars have shown nice moxie and, and some energy here in the early going. There's that play by Horvat. He, he dropped down to block the shot, but... Uh, stopped himself up and got back into that shooting lane again. Pretty good from the rookie. Hansen's got great quickness on puck pursuit. Another good stop by Kari Lettinen in tight. Done that a couple of times on, on young Kennans. They'll start from the other end on the icing and the Canucks can't change. Spezza, Hemsky, and Eves for the Stars. Spezza wins the faceoff. Goligoski looking down toward Hemsky, and that's tipped out of play. So now the Canucks can change, and we can let you go get a snack. 9.36 remaining in the opening period from Vancouver. Jamie Benn has the Stars up. 1-0. Entertainment does not like is silence, and that's what we had in this building. 
in warm-up tonight. Usually it's just a pulsating cacophony of sound when the players are out there for their 15-minute warm-up, but the PA system here at Rogers Arena went on the fritz. So all you could hear were, were pucks, people talking. I almost had to whisper to Jamie Benn doing the interview before the game. I've never seen that, not for a long time anyway. Used to be you just open the doors and let people in. That was sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Alish Hemsky entertaining dash, backhand shot, save black, rebound. Eves was poking at it. Now they threw it towards Spezza. That one chipped aside. Klingberg keeping it alive. Spezza whips it over to Hemsky. Spezza pokes it away. Hemsky steals it back, puts it back in the net for Spezza. Got there ahead of Bieksa. Eves is in front of the net. Dorset jamming Spezza. Bieksa comes in too. Hemsky lifts the puck free and then try to pass across to Klingberg who's trapped. Out comes Bay to the Dallas line. Goligoski getting there first in the corner to sweep it around behind. Klingberg moves it out. Edler from his own line passing it over and Tanev snaps it forward to Verbata into the zone. Bonino a shot, he scores! The Canucks have tied it. Well, that's their first goal in 70 minutes of hockey in this building against the Stars. It was a sloppy line change by Dallas. They're, they're trying to get a change in on defense. There goes Klingberg. Nemeth was coming on. Because of that, they give up an odd man chance. And I think Benino fanned on this. All the hot shots stopped, unless he just took something off of it. I think he fanned on it a little bit. Kari was uh, all buckled on it anyway, trying to get across, and it actually went through him because of that. 14th for Benino, who has replaced Ryan Kessler here in Vancouver, not only in their lineup, but in, their, in his jersey. I like that. He took number 17 immediately. It's mine now. Garvin up ahead to center ice. Or Verbata did, pardon me. He sopped up the role that he had here as the second line center iceman. Yeah, he filled the role nicely, setting up Benino on that play. For Benino, it's his 14th goal of the season, but he struggled lately in that regard. You remember Benino from his days with the Ducks and how he put the Stars season out last year. American Airlines Center. Who was that, Joe Noondike, when he went into Jersey, took number 25 immediately, had no problem with that. <laughs> Verbata with the same thing here with Kessler's. It's mine. Kennan's bringing it in, Hansen from the wing, tried to go across, and Sagan came back hard to keep Bo Horvat away. Boy, Tyler's done that a lot. Maybe he's not you know, full gallop and, and clean with his offensive stuff, but great coming back. Centering feed from Horvat, who might should have gone to the net. Adler fired it wide. Again, it's sitting on the back of the Dallas goal. Yeah, that's a, that's a real sagging net down yeah. there. You don't see that anymore. Oh. Well, they got all kinds of things going on here tonight. Sagan with the full curl at his own line. He shot it in off a of Vancouver Canucks skate for the change. 7-10 remaining in the first period. Shots 8-5 Vancouver, and it's a 1-1 game here. Letton back to stop it, back of his net. Lost it back of the goal. Henrik and Daniel are both back there. Bieksa comes charging to the corner, got past McKenzie, centering feet for Daniel from Henrik, and the Stars pick it off. McKenzie sending Horkoff in a race with Burroughs. Burroughs beats him to the puck. Horkoff takes the body in the corner. Richie and McKenzie there too. McKenzie to Richie, couldn't get the shot away in front. Belagoski flips it. Right into Eddie Lack's glove. That was an easy reach us out and grabs that one. Look at these droopy nets. You know, I, I made this point for a while now. When they went to these really tight nets, right? And the reason they went to the tight nets was so that pucks didn't rest on there all the time and stop play. It would just, you know, fall off. Cavalcade of rubber, if you will. But... I liked it when they were billowy nets because it, it looks so much more dramatic when you actually do score a goal. Mm -hmm. Jamie puts it around behind. Those look like the warm-up nets, but they have the cameras installed in them. And the puck stays in the net when they're a little yep. more... Yep. Instead of trampoline it out of there, and we've seen plenty of that, especially with the new net nets and the shallower nets. They went with four inches shallower than they used to be. 
Patrick Gibbs fighting Yannick Weber for the puck. And in the Vancouver zone, it's Hamus who has it. Too far from Matthias, no icing. Letting back of the net to play it. Shoot it up the high glass. Eakin tipped it on to Ben. Here he comes. Sagan, Ben, Eakin at the line. Sagan. Demers a shot. That's blocked wide. He was the late guy on the attack. Right idea, but it, it just seemed like it didn't happen quick enough for the Stars to get ahead of it. And Tanev was able to block it in the high slot. Here comes Sagan barreling in, and he hammers it over the top of the net. Tanev fell back of the goal. Ben trying to pick it up off the netting again. And we get a whistle. We have a situation. <laughs> yes. we, need, we need somebody to investigate. It's 1-1 with 5.36 remaining. In a building with two saggy nets. Rogers Arena, Vancouver, British Columbia. Victory Green here in owner Tom Gillardi's hometown, and you could win a trip to Las Vegas for the NHL Awards thanks to CertiPro. Sign up at vegas.nhl.com slash stars for your chance at round trip airfare from Dallas, two nights hotel, two tickets to the NHL Awards, and two after-party passes. Sign up vegas.nhl.com slash stars today. 1-1 game. Eakin, Sagan couldn't pull the trigger. Higgins escapes to center ice. Demers has a first period assist. 23 points this season, four of them goals. Career high five goals last year. Higgins reached out for it, has it at the line. Beats Demers to the corner. Benino, the goal scorer, drifting as Verbata has the puck. Looks out to the line and then stashes it to Higgins. Moved it toward Benino. Higgins escaping. Verbata spun and fired. Demers blocked it, sent it to the corner. Yokipaka can't sneak it past Verbata. Demers will. The bend at center ice. Slapped it on to Sagan. Shooting from long distance as he's ready to change. And Eddie Lack made the stop. Roussel back in. Fighting majors for both Roussel and Dorset. then. No minors on that play. And that's Bo Horvat. Ronald Kennan's spirited charge after the puck in the corner. Fiddler out to Roussel, and there he goes against Bieksa. He'll stall Bieksa, Fiddler shooting it wide of the net. Klingberg racing over to keep it in the zone. Roussel out to Fiddler, looking into the slot. Garbutt went to change. Richie's driving toward the net. There's Fiddler. Back out to Goligoski. Deep to Richie, who's now back at the goal. Turning away from Horvat, who picked him up. Firing, save Lack. Goligoski threw it in front, and that's punched down the ice. This will be icing against Vancouver. Well, this is what the Stars did not do much of last night, which is get it in behind the other team's defense and go after them. And, you know, even though he's a grizzled old veteran, Kevin Bieksa had a rough season series against the Dallas Stars. He struggled, I think, with some of the speed that the Stars can throw at you. And uh, this crew just kept cycling, winning pucks in, in behind the icing line on them and going to work. Ducks win this face off. Spees up. Couldn't get away from Richie, and then Horkop overskates the puck. Kennens hands it back. There's the aforementioned Bieksa. Standing back of his net and in no particular hurry. Slip the Sedins out here. Mm -hmm. Henrik on the wing to Daniel. Left it for Henrik. Orkoff ch checking him. Daniel puts it back in the net. In comes Henrik. Burrow set a pick for him. Goes toward the line and McKenzie strips it there. Peers over his shoulder and then moves forward toward Daly who was breaking to the net. Hamus blocks the pass. Daly in the corner. Trevor's back after an 11-game absence. He had six points in his six games prior to getting hurt. He's on a career pace. We talked about that off the top. Canucks are offside here. 2.55 left in the first. Well, Trevor Daly spent a lot of time with, with Stan. Tergulikov? Is that the proper way of saying that one? Uh, yeah. I butchered it, yeah, Stan. Yeah. I apologize, but uh, Stan helps the Stars coaching staff, and, and Trevor just raved about him, mm -hmm. the drills that they did together in getting him back up and running. And I should mention, too, that Matt Martin, the guy who injured Trevor in that hit, did reach out to him immediately and apologize about it and obviously wasn't trying to injure him. 
good. Yeah, Trevor was it's just all kinds of innovative ways to get back in shape. Yoki Paka locked it up along the boards. Hemsky pitching it. And there goes Eves. Spezza trying to beat Tanev to the puck. Tapped it in front. But weakly, here's Eves shooting. It's blocked by Edler and out of play. Well, Willie Desjardins, who was Willie Desjardins when he was down in Texas, yeah. but that happens with some, some guys and some people. Uh, he's doing for the Canucks, though, what he did uh, in Cedar Park with the Stars American Hockey League team. The simple, smart, straightforward system. Plays everybody. He's a good teacher and communicator. Their biggest struggle, again, has been their play, especially at home, against non-playoff teams. And when you see him on the bench, he always has that whiteboard with him to draw things up, and he always looks like he's going to make a cup of coffee nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is as fidgety as it gets. Oh. Until he falls dead asleep on the airplane with his computer playing hockey video in the background. Tireless guy. And good for him. Belagoski jumps in after the puck. Klingberg locking it up along the boards. Belagoski comes away with it. Ben to Sagan. Back to Ben at center. Eakin tipped it over. And then was spilled. Hamus goes back in the net. Ben gives him a little shove. Higgins, unclean with the puck. Garbutt off the bench. Pitched it forward. Eakin sends it Garbutt's way in the corner. Lucas Pisa hounding Garbutt. Eakin maneuvering away from Benino, who steals the puck. Wow, nice hands. And Higgins out to center ice. Shot it in past Nemeth. This is better, though. Than another shift where the Stars are able to get pucks in deep. They're grinding tonight. Trevor with a full skate through center, and then he shoots it around the boards. Tip pass for self. Nemeth holding the line briefly. Horvat took it away, and then punched it forward. Hansen looking, shooting wide of the net. The exit filled in by Antoine Roussel. Horvat to the corner, final minute of the first period. Ronald Kennan's lost the puck. Richie had him tied up. Daly escapes with it to center ice. Feeds it past Pisa, but did not gain the red center line. They waved the icing, though. The X is back there. Richie challenging. Spiza holds it behind his net. 40 seconds remaining in the period. That's 9-8 Dallas. Kennan's fires it in. Letton back of the net. Flung it up toward the line, held in by the Canucks. Edler has a look from the wing, shooting it. Save Lettinen, rebound loose in front and cleared to the boards. Here comes Spezza. 20 seconds left in the frame. He'll shoot it in deep. Tanev in the corner, whips it around. There's Horkoff centering it. Tipped onto Demers. Back of the net, Horkoff centered for McKenzie. Spezza feeding it out to Goligoski. Firing it off the post. Was deflected, went off the post and wide. And there's the horn ending the first period. Man, I would always think about putting the Sedins on the ice in the final minute. If, you're, if you have any risk whatsoever of playing in your own zone, they got all tied up. Stars able to get a quality scoring chance right at the buzzer. Deflected through, cut a piece of Eddie Lack, the netminder, and then right off the pipe on his blocker side. Boy, that was, <laughs> that was close. Stars had all, ah, oh, no, that's a half celebration. Premature there, Jamie, premature. The Stars had all the chances early on, their best chances of the period until that, and the Canucks had some doozies in the first frame as well. Dallas Stars finishing up their three-game road trip in Western Canada and trying to hang on to their slim hopes in the Western Conference playoff race. They're tied with the Canucks 1-1 after one in Vancouver. West is brought to you by Ford. It's Ford Truck Month at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Visit TexasFord.com for details. And by the Mazda 6, J.D. Power has awarded the Mazda 6 the highest ranked vehicle appeal among mid-size cars. 1-1 for the Stars and the Canucks heading to the second period. He's on the hook racer for some 13 tickets or so tonight, but he's given the fans, friends, and family a pretty good show so far. Well, Jamie Benn has been excellent for the Stars here again tonight, right from the get-go. And, and his importance to this strut through March, if you will, is underscored by his production in wins and losses. In the four losses this month, just one assist, an ugly minus seven, 
in the nine victories over a point a game and a, and a plus player. And, you know, t tonight he scored. He could have a couple in the game already. He was so good e even when Tyler Sagan was out. He continued to produce. He's only going to get better because of his age. He looks like a determined individual with a C on his jersey. There's Papa. Only getting to see one of the boys here tonight, but he's seen them plenty in their youth and, of course, down in Dallas. Everybody was at the hotel having breakfast this morning, Mom and Dad. Great to see them all. Here's a pass from Klingberg to Eakin. Looked like a set play off the faceoff, almost in loose. Ben shot it. Black had the post crowded, and the puck ricochets underneath him. Stars forecheck has been so much better here tonight, and it really does feed their overall game, and that, that's why it was it was so odd to watch them play the way they did last night, especially in this frantic chase of a playoff spot. Get in after a puck, after getting the puck in deep and immediately get it funneled to the net. Eakin steps forward away from Henrik Sedin, but Burroughs claims the puck comes to center ice. Alex Burrows with Daniel and Henrik. Back of the net, it's Kari Lettinen leaving it for Klingberg. Precariously out aside his net, but he pitches it all the way into the Vancouver zone. Tanev to Edler. Rink wide, Henrik will come back, and they'll try it again. Henrik, artful kick to the stick. And then jockeys with Tyler Sagan along the boards. Sagan pitched it to center ice, Eakin. Jammed by Burroughs, Daniel Sedin taps it back, and Kevin Bieksa has the puck. It's time for Edler. Up ahead, Higgins reaching for it. Goligoski, nice little feed there to Klingberg, and here he comes. Ahead to center, Verbata steals it, and slugs it on in. Bounces back at the Dallas net. Hemsky there to collect it, but Nino, Enough goal scorer chases him. Eves bats it, but right across the speeds up. He'll shoot it into the glove. Well, gang, lots of great stuff to look forward to. We've seen glimpses of it this season. This young, fiery Dallas Stars team. Next year, season tickets for the 2015-16 season are on sale now. Full season seats offer the best seats at the best price for every Stars game, plus great benefits, too. Call 214-GO-STARS to reserve your season seat today. Movement on the faceoff. We'll do this again. Trevor Daly drifted into the circle there. Here's young Bo Horvat, who's been terrific for the Canucks as a youngster. And this is one of his best skills, face-offs. It's Vern Fiddler. Horvat wins it. Ham, you shoots it. Blocked in front. Daly swept it away. Kennens was lingering in front of the net. It's been a good line for the Canucks tonight. Maybe their best. Kennens, Hansen, and Horvat. Weber shot it wide. Kennan centers it for Horvat. That's tipped to the corner. Daly moved it on to Roussel. Fiddler. Kennan's wiped him out along the boards. Hansen going after the puck, dropping for Horvat. Shooting. That's blocked by Nemeth. And it's back of the net for Hansen. Hamus firing. Score, Horvat. They're going to wave it off as Lettinen is unable to move in his crease. Yannick Hansen was over on the far side and... I mean, it, it was a mess and bib worthy prior to that happening, and the Stars dodge one here. A very physical shift by those three Horvat, Kennens, and Hansen. There's no way that Yannick Hansen was going to try to get himself out of there. He drives it to the front, gets into the crease. There's no chance for Kari Lettinen to move in the crease to handle the bid from Horvat. And even though it's a dunk, they say, no, it isn't. It may be similar to the other night where no goal and no penalty. Faceoff comes outside the line. Not a popular, he's dr literally draped all over Kari Letton in there. Was Ian Walsh with us in Edmonton last night who made the no call on the Horkoff goal and that was his eyes again at the line. Well, he obviously hates offense. <laughs> yes. Stars break it up, and Lack has to shut it down here as they're showing the replay to the disgruntled Canuck fans. <laughs> uh, Insight riot, if you will, on a Saturday night. Don't do that in this city. 
Mm -mm. Face-offs. You know, they, they win that one in the Dallas zone, and that led to the issue at the net. Now you have one to the left of Lack. Orkoff wins it. McKenzie against Matthias. Richie in front. Here's Yoki Paka shooting off the side of the net. Yerke also searching for his first goal in the National Hockey League. Both he and Nemeth are. Yoki Paka at center. Held Bay up. Dorset shot it over. Matthias picks it up off Demers. Floats to the line. Shoots it. Lettinen drifting to his left makes the catch. Well, Yoki Paka had a pretty good chance at the other end as the weak side defenseman sneaking down. The Stars, uh, they like to get their defensemen involved when they're coming up the ice. At least one of them, not both of them. And at times off these set pieces where there's a face-off win in the attacking zone, and they get everybody sucked down, all five defenders on one side of the ice, get a defenseman creeping in as an extra attacker, and he had to double-clutch it and hit the outside of the net. Good work defensively for Yoki Paka. 57 block shots this season in 45 games. He's got 10 assists, too. And Jamie Benn. Working his way through center ice. Shot it over. Hamuse tied up. It's Ben again looking for the puck. Back of the net. Eakin to Sagan. A shot. He didn't get much on it. Save lack. Goligoski to Klingberg. Back to Goligoski. On to Ben. Twisting it towards Sagan. Missed him. Weber with the pass ahead at center ice. Henrik Sedin. Burroughs is in ahead of it offside. Stars with their puck pursuit again, generated a chance, and I think it was Daniel Sedin who got just enough of Tyler Sagan's stick in the slot. Puck in behind, hustling after Hamus in the corner. He just gets assaulted by both Cody Egan and, and Jamie Benn, and as, as Sagan comes into that low slot, here comes Daniel Sedin. Good look at it there. Fouls him up enough. Elvis save by Eddie Lack. Center ice, Spiza sends Bieksa in. Here's Verbata reaching for one. Nemeth blocks it, and Eves will grab it and go. Hemsky to his right, spets it behind him. That's Hemsky, forced to the boards. Eves looking for the puck. Hemsky retrieving his fallen stick. The Spiza away from the trouble. Bieksa out to Verbata. There's a nifty little set play by the Canucks on that one to spring a surprise on the Stars with Bieksa going through. Now Eves is hooked on his way to the puck. That's usually a penalty. Yep. Benino brings it in. Shot at save Lettinen. Hemsky makes the turn. Canucks have three back at center. Eves wants to change. Fiddler comes in there against Edler. Bieksa with the puck. Worked out to center. Yokipaka shoots it in. Black got some, not all of it. Fiddler working his way back in the net to try and find the puck. Bieksa came in for a hit. Roussel tying up with Vey. Matthias spins, gave it to Vey. Now to Dorset at the Dallas line. Back of the net to Mers. Vey takes over. Out to the line with it for Edler. Holding off, gave it to Tanev. There's a loose stick. And Lettinen grabs the puck. Ryan Garbett somehow got flying in there. The Canucks take a page out of the Stars book and get a defenseman cruising in on the attack. Ryan Garbett back in the lineup here tonight. Out because he hasn't been an asset and hasn't scored at all. He can pursue the puck. He's a good defender. He kills penalties for the Stars. I think it was his own teammate that it was Demers that hacked the stick out of his hand and down into the corner and Kari, as he's done throughout the game tonight, squeezes it, hangs on to it. They need a lot of stops tonight. Brett Ritchie, first man in for the puck in the Vancouver zone with Hamus. They wipe each other out back of the net. Henrik Sedin hit by Horkoff. Daniel Sedin got it out to center ice. Curtis McKenzie passes to Daly and gets the return pass. Up through the middle for Ritchie. He'll bring it over against Hamus toward Horkoff. Good stretch around Weber for the puck. Knocks it into the corner. Canucks have it. Daniel blocked off by Horkoff again. Daly with Burroughs in for a look. Nemeth pass across the ice for Trevor Daly. Daly into the zone against Tanner. Backhand shot. Save Lack. Brett Ritchie finding it amidst three Canucks. Puts it back in the net. 
Edler seals up McKenzie. Richie goes after the puck, now Dolagoski. Back of the net for McKenzie, twisting out. Nobody home for the pass. Hansen, speed play here. Horvat breaking behind Klingberg, no icing. Klingberg tying him up in the corner. And Klingberg up the wall, past Edler. Comes right in on Lack. Sagan hoping for a miscue, he didn't get one. Pass off Hansen at center. Horvat and Klingberg again to the corner. Klingberg tying up the man, then going after the puck. Kennens prodding at it. Eakin, rink wide to Goligoski. They come to center ice, give it to Ben, relays it in. 13.45 left in the second period. Shots 14 apiece in a 1-1 game in Vancouver. But Nino bumped off the puck. Goligoski. Hemsky dodging a check, gave it to Yokipaka. On the wing to Eves. Spiza took some of him. Bieksa looking for the puck. Spezza waiting for it in front. He couldn't get the forehand on it. It was in midair. Hemsky to Yokipaka. Shooting it, save Lack. I'd throw a lot of sharp angle stuff at, at Eddie Lack. He doesn't handle it extremely well. A lot of stuff pops into the slot area off of him. Higgins and Demers at center ice. They got Benino in the clear again. Yonke Paka back and he blocks the shot. Eves using the boards. And Spets is just a tick too late. It's offside against Dallas. With a tick under 13 minutes to play in the second period. And the Stars and the Canucks tied at one in Vancouver. Stars and Canucks almost midway through this one in Vancouver. Jason Spets has been part of the success in March, but he hasn't been part of the production. Just uh, one goal and three assists this month. He had one pop to him, but he had to knife it out of midair to get it in, and he missed by a considerable margin on his little butt right in front of the net. The most productive guys in the league, two of them are in the game here tonight with their new teams, that is. Mike Ribeiro leading everybody, tied with Redeem Verbato, who had that gorgeous chance back in the first period, and then Spezza, that's really his only scoring chance so far in this one here tonight. Hasn't been a real high chance game. Very dump and chasey tonight. The well, last night was a high chance yes. game. <laughs> yes, it was. Fiddler threw it in front. Roussel was cutting to the net. And another guy who's looking to get back on the goal sheet. I would look for more of that again. Uh, you know, from sharp angles with people going to the net. Just the way Black seems to handle those things. They've been able to get in and really be a menace for the Canuck defense here tonight. Funnel it, funnel it, funnel it. Why not get something to rattle in a little bit? Vern Fiddler came, came into the month of March like a lion. Five goals in the first six games. He's been lamb-like since. No points in the last half dozen. Again, they, they, it seems like when one guy's down, another guy's been up. It's been part of the success story for the team in this month, the final full month of the regular season. Get it, shoots it in, Lettinen. Worked it toward the corner, Bay is checked along the board, squeezed it out, Kennens. Got back to him, shot it wide of the net. Wow. Where was Ryan Garber going there? He was in perfect position and thwarted the first attack and then must have lost the puck. Roussel dumped at the Vancouver line, Hamus south to Matthias at center ice. And down the boards. Goligoski back of his net. Looks off the four check, snuck it forward to Horkoff, who now has to retreat. And to Richie at center ice. And just lots of that. Just advance the puck, advance the puck, advance the puck all the way up the ice repeatedly. Challenge the Canucks to get out of their own zone. Klingberg drawing some pressure. Horkoff tried to relay it over. The exit. Found the puck, Richie with the steal at the line, left it. They tried to go back to him, McKenzie did. Black kicked it away. Goligoski firing tip wide in front. It was an unnecessary kick save and a beauty by Eddie Black on that one. He turned it into a mess. It's still a problem for the Canucks right now. Richie couldn't get to that puck. Long pass for Hansen, worked it to Harvat. He's got a step, Harvat a shot off the side of the net. And a penalty coming up here against the Stars. Slashing. Little transition, away they go with some speed. It's this line again. Speaking of feeding it forward and getting after it. One pass, touch pass. They gobble up 180 feet of this rink. 
And I don't think his puck ever settled down, did it, for Horvat in tight? Yeah, it's flopping all over the place. A benefit for Kari Lennon and the stars that it was. He was the guy that, yeah, he's shaking his head. Goligoski had to get back on him. Uh, Horvat was the guy who they picked up in the draft when they traded Corey Schneider. Essentially, that pick to get him. Looked up pretty good. Ben gets it out. This is Vancouver's first power play of the game. Canucks are about mid-pack. They have a power play goal in each of their last four, and they're very economical with it. Four on ten chances. Henrik Sedin stops up. Puck off a skate back of the net. Right to Daly. He'll feed it off the boards and down the ice. Trevor's been pretty good. I mean, it's not easy to jump in like this in a, a game like this after being out for that amount of time. Three and a half weeks is a long time. Here's Rabata. He has 11 power play goals. Oh, he and Sagan, one of the league leaders. We told you about that. And Fiddler gets to the loose puck to clear. Good aggressive penalty killing. The Stars uh, killing has been really good. Perfect on this trip and, and excellent throughout the month. Canucks, Hamus weaving his way to the Dallas line. Shoots it around the boards. Letting him with a good stop back in the net. And Jokipaka takes his time to clear. One thing they've done really well, I think, is, is force teams to give up the puck when you know they don't want to. Power plays want to hang on to it, especially on their entries. And a lot of times, Stars so good, they force them to give it up and go get it. Higgins jammed by Daly. Garbutt trying to clear it. Hamus kept it in with the skate. Higgins turns away from Garbutt. They kick it back out to Tanev at the line. Lettinen is dumped in front of the net. He's back up without a stick. That's been slid away from him by Burroughs. Hamuse a shot. They score! And the Canucks have a power play goal. And Kari Lettinen looks a bit disheveled. It almost looked like Alex Burroughs went over to complain to the referee, anticipating he... He might have caught him there. It was uh, Trevor Daly that wiped out Kari Lenton, and he got bumped a little bit by Burroughs. And then that's when, when Daly lost his stick. He didn't move it enough in order for that to be interference. And the point shot, was that, that, was, that was a tough hit for Lenton to take from Daly. Daly got out of position, spinning around a little bit as that shot came through. Nobody was in the shot lane, and kabang. Looks like it hit something and dropped on Kari Lettinen, too. Yeah, there it is. Deflection right in front of the net. He was going to grab that with the glove. And instead, it got deflected between his, his glove mitt and his pad. And the Canucks have their power play goal. Because Hamuse was going to pull a Derek England on us. Hamuse has not scored since March 16th of last year. That won't be his goal now. This one shot into Lettinen. And the Canucks one for one on the power play. They take the fir their first lead of the game. If they get it, even if it's eventually, as the Stars ice this, it, it's going to be Higgins' goal. He was the man in the slot. He's starting to score goals for the Canucks as well. Before nine games for him, as he got a stick. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that was me. That is that is an exquisite beard that he is rocking right now. That is a West Coast beard. That is thick, purposeful. Kaka, indeed. That will be his 11th goal of the season, a three-time 20-goal man with Montreal, but not since the 07-08 season. The right time of year for guys to heat up, though. Canucks is a big game for Vancouver in terms of keeping their hold on one of the, the second or third spot in the Pacific Division. First spot's going to go to Anaheim. They have an 11-point lead in the division. Who knows how far they're going to get, though. Yeah, they got some things to figure out. They've run into that same problem again that Bruce Boudreaux had a little bit when he was with the Washington Capitals. They have too many players right now. Got to settle on a lineup yeah. at some point. Amu Santana with the assist then on the Higgins goal. Give an assist to Burroughs. Yeah. He was the most involved, maybe. Oligoski finds Klingberg. Gives it back to his partner. He'll take the line. Now to Sagan. Sagan shooting it wide of the net. Wow, did he hammer that. Stars have been at their best here again tonight. Their defensemen are on their toes and involved. They're much better. Jamie Benn has the lone Dallas goal. 
Came over the line with the puck towards Spezza. Spiza took it away from Spezza. And now Bieksa into the zone for Daniel Sedin. Looking over his options, Henrik slapped it to the far side. Eves chasing Spiza back to the Vancouver zone. Got his stick in there, but Spiza spins away from it. Henrik unable to corral the puck, icing against Vancouver. Henrik Sedin looks over his shoulder at Spiza. He's like, really? <laughs> really? And they retreat back down into their own end of things. Daniel and Henrik, we talked about the two of them tonight. The Stars have, for the most part, kept them completely bottled up in this one tonight. Daniel finds the puck. Richie drifted over to get it. Henrik took it away from McKenzie. Daniel skipping it back into the Dallas zone and Lettman throwing it down the ice. Richie chasing it with Weber. Orkoff over skates. Higgins has the puck. Benino over the line. Delays to Weber. A shot wide of the net. Verbata firing off the side of the goal, too. Higgins back of the net. Daly giving chase. Benino looking, shooting. That hits Lettman. Almost knocked him over. And McKenzie couldn't get it past Weber, who fires. Tip by Higgins. Picked off by Nemeth. Benino steals it back. And Higgins shot blocked by Trevor Daly. Stars out to center. Starting to see some weariness in the body language on Kari Lettinen right now. Horvat trying to bust down the wing again. Klingberg getting back of the net, shielding him from the puck. Garbutt backhanding it. It hits Edler and stays in the zone, but it's a hand pass called against the Canucks. 7-14 remaining in the second period. Canucks lead the Dallas Stars 2-1. Vancouver. Bring you through the offense in the game. Ben opened the scoring when he was being double shifted early on. He just boxed out Tanev, the defenseman, dunked one past Eddie Lack. Canucks though with their two. Stars got caught on a change. Curry stumbled a bit. Benito fanned a little bit. The game was tied a lot. And then on the power play here in the second period, deflection right in the high slot. Trevor Daly got off balance and spun around. Nobody was contesting Higgins in the high slot. His deflection gets past a stickless Kari Lettinen, and that is the go-ahead goal in this one. Kari Lettinen is 12th, 3, and 2 in his last 17 decisions. Keeping the Stars mathematically alive and in the chase. Klingberg shot it out to center. Goligoski back to Klingberg. And Dorset forces him back of his net. 24 games since Klingberg has scored a goal. Eakin moving in. Goligoski heading to the net that went off Lack's pad. That's what I mean. The, the Stars defense have hustled to do that. They've been very good in their own zone for the most part. An awkward collision there. Mm -hmm. And they've really hustled to be involved in the attack up the ice. Ben to Eakin. He's got a step on Bay. Pushed it into the middle. Yokopaka keeps it in the zone. Eakin in front to Ben, but it's chucked out of there. Eakin stealing it again. Down to Ben. Out to Demerza drive. That's blocked. It hit Matthias and went to Bay. His pass dies at the Dallas line. Matthias pokes it over and Vancouver will change. Demers. Yokipaka along to Hemsky. And out comes Eves with a pass. Bounces knuckles over the Vancouver line. Bieksa out. Kennedy's, I guess, flicked at it. And Yokipaka up the middle to Eves. On to Hemsky. Hemsky takes the line, shoves it over to Spezza. Cutting interior. Spezza shooting tip wide. Hemsky trying to corral it along the boards. Pushed it to the middle. Bieksa. Nudged it ahead. Kennens overtaken by Spezza, who whacked the stick out of his hands. Kennens comes back for a shove along the boards. Get some sticks on the ice tonight. This one floated back into the Dallas zone. 525 left in the second period. Shots 20 to 19 Dallas. Canucks lead it 2 to 1. Patrick Nemeth to Alex Hemsky. He'll tip it in to finish the change. 
Richie comes on for him. Weber keeping McKenzie at bay. Verbato with the pass ahead at center ice. Bonino gets past Nemeth. Bonino, he had Verbata alone on the near side, went the other way, and the Stars break it up. Orkoff to center. They'll bring it right back in. Henrik shot it. Daniel finds it back of the net. Verbata hooked off a little bit. Richie will come to center ice. Down to the Vancouver line with a pass. Oligoski taken off right at the line. And a penalty coming up here, I think. Four forty-four remaining in the second period. Get the call when we come back. End up with offsetting minors here with four forty-four to go in the second period, and the Canucks with a two-one lead on a power play goal. Really, there were two penalties. There was a hook on by Goligoski on Verbata, and then there was another one in neutral ice by Verbata on Goligoski. They didn't get the two hooks though. It's a hook and an embellishment against Alex. Ultimately, though, they got the right two guys in the box, I guess. <laughs> Crazy. So it'll be a little four-on-four four then. See what Klingberg can do here. Klingberg with Trevor Daly, Spezza and Jamie, or Sagan and Jamie Ben. Henrik wins the face-off. Henrik and Daniel. Twins with that special secret voodoo language of theirs. Tanev and Edler on the back end for the Canucks. Edler to Tanev. Daniel left it for Henrik. To Daniel along the boards. Back to Henrik. He'll circle with it. Feed it to Edler. Gave it to Daniel. Works it over to Tanev. Into the corner for Edler. Henrik lets it go. Thinking Daniel will be over there. He is. There's Henrik. Back of the net. The Daniel overskates the puck. Trevor Daly will go back and get it. Trevor played. Pass to Klingberg. Klingberg bringing it over. Stopping in the corner. Sharply. Pursued to the line, tried to twist back, gave it to Ben, who's chased out to center ice. The Okipaka falls at center. Draws a few giggles. Hansen takes it back to the net. Have not seen much here on this four on four. 40 seconds remaining on it. Letting into the boards. He could try to pitch it past Spiza. The Okipaka attempting to escape. Feeding it forward to Demers. And Emsky unable to reach it at the line. Horvat! who's been very noticeable in the game. Long pass, too far for BX. It's icing against Vancouver. Lots of lyrical skating and uh, yeah. <laughs> much puck movement. Mm -hmm. Nothing going on whatsoever during this four-on-four -four segment of the entertainment tonight. And with that icing, you run the risk. Th these are, you know, a lot of times these are the most difficult situations to handle when there there's one fewer player on the ice on, on both sides. You just can't fill lanes the same way. Nemeth fighting over there with Spiza. Bieksa back of the net. So it's no problem for Vancouver because they win the faceoff and clear it. Nemeth up to Daly. Daly backing in against Spiza. Daly back of the net. Morkoff was in front of it. Daly all the way around the boards. Out to Nemeth. He fanned on it. And Verbata is on, but Spezza steals it. Cutting. Spezza can't pull the trigger. Now he does. Save lack. Rebound to Spezza back of the net. The reverse against Higgins. Tried to center it to Demers. It's gobbled up and Benino comes to center ice. Benino and Higgins, the goal scorers for Vancouver. Ben struck first for Dallas. 2.15 remains here in the second period. Demers to Eakin. Right up through the middle. Spees up. Gave it right back. And Sagan trying to find it against Weber. Ducking back in the net. Eakin moved in to pick it up. Shot out toward the line. Finding Goligoski. Backhand shot as he's going down wide. Black might have got a piece of that one. That was a great manipulation by Goligoski to even get that backhand toward the net. Amuse now with the pass ahead. Matthias takes it over. 
And he can't cut away from Klingberg, who also keeps Bay away. Boy, the Canucks do some very cavalier things with the puck in their own zone from time to time. They, they, another club that their defenseman will just throw pucks to an area, not always to a teammate. Bring it up with purpose here. Tanev takes the Dallas line. Shoots it around the boards. Garbutt swings in to pick it up. And Nemeth up ahead off Roussel. It's going wide of the Vancouver net. It's icing with a minute four to play in the second. Hey, Alex has had a ton of hustle in his game here tonight. He's, he's been maybe the most noticeable of the defensemen to get up and join the attack. This time he gets out and joins the attack. Starts with a nice cycle rotation. They find him in front and ding off the right toe of Eddie Lack and just wide. He's done that, I'd say, at least three times this period. He has gone on the gallop up the ice to join. He, Spezza, and Jamie Benn, the only three stars to play in every game this season. Plays a lot of minutes, too, in all situations. Goligoski does, now it's Nemeth, hoisting it out to center ice, Richie trying to beat two Canucks to the puck, he beat the one and now he and Hamuse drag it to the corner, Orkoff shoving the pile, Richie centers it, loses to Mers, he fires, that's blocked and into Black's glove and that could have been even more than it was. Well it's a final minute thing again, it's as if the, the Stars un understand that the periods are 20 minutes long and the Canucks think they're 19. <laughs> You know, good, good lean on you power hustle by Big Brett Ritchie to win the puck against a couple of Canucks, but they are forced to double clutch. Demers couldn't pull the trigger immediately, and everything got settled down by the left hand of Eddie Lack. Cup digging in against Benino. McKenzie giving chase for Botta, pitching it ahead to Higgins. Oligoski turns to get back to cover defensively. He got Higgins away from the puck. Edler deep on the play with 15 left in the period. Higgins. Edler out to the line. Verbata shooting wide of the net. McKenzie slams it off the boards and out to center ice. And this will be the end of the second period. Well, other than the power play goal on a, uh, some broken individuals and a broken play, th this is right where it should be. You know, low scoring and tied through two. Instead, it's 2-1 Canucks. Third game of a three-game road trip. Dallas Stars trying to finish it off with a win and stay mathematically alive in the West. Canucks lead it 2-1 through 40 minutes. When we came, come back. Alex Goligoski visits with Daryl Ray. That's coming up next from Rogers Arena in Vancouver. Stars Hockey on Fox Sports Southwest is brought to you by Ford. It's Ford Truck Month at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Visit TexasFord.com for details. And by Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at Southwest.com. Heading to the third period in Rogers Arena in Vancouver. The Canucks lead 2-1. They get... Stars get Trevor Daly back tonight. He leads their blue line with 16 goals, Razor. It's sort of a microcosm of the defensemen like to get involved in the offense. They do. No, nobody's been more involved than Alex Goligoski uh, through two periods of play. Chatting with him in between the frames, he's been up on the rush and played a lot. But it's not just Alex. It's been virtually everybody on the back end. Vintage Daly dancing his way in and knifing a puck to the net. All got Yoki Paka on the back door had a good scoring chance, but, but a lot of Alex, he's taken four minutes in penalties through two periods, and no players played more than him. If he hadn't have been delinquent, he might have 20 minutes on the, on the books already, the way he's going at it. Some pretty good scoring chances. You know, defensemen creeping in, the Demers late in the period from the point position as well, so... As Alex said, they're going to throw everything at this third period here tonight. They have to outbattle, and I would suspect be more urgent than the Canucks. Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, Cody Eakin at center against the Sedins and Alex Burrows. Burrows trying to get in there. Goligoski partnered with Klingberg. Takes it to safety back of his net. Players have been good from coming off the pace. Third period comebacks this year. They're okay when they got to chase it. 
Klingberg intercepts a pass, sends Ben into the zone. They're offside. Had the Canucks really backed off there, too, because of how quickly that changed hands and neutral ice. Tanev, he and Edler have played straight up against Ben and Sagan throughout the game, and, and Sagan and Ben have both had their opportunities. Combined for about a half a dozen shots in the game, and, and Ben with a goal. Tanev's got a couple of helpers and a five-year extension. Alex Edler has been re rejuvenated here. If you look at the game here in mid-December, Kari Lettinen was the first star with the shutout, and then it was Daly and Alex Edler. <laughs> Two defensemen and a goalie. Yeah. This game hasn't been much different. Usually very close games, although the Stars blew them out a bit at American Airlines Center this season. They're looking for one here to tie the game. Jason Spezza going back to the net, centered it. Eves couldn't quite get to the puck, but now steals it. Backhands it in, and Lack, sensing Spezza's presence, shuts it down. Well, Jason Spezza got shaken up in a collision with the end boards. That's why he got up real slow, checking a blade more than anything else, maybe. Watch this. They drive through. They had a three-on-two, didn't turn it into much, and... Oh, man, that's awkward. That's fortunate. The skate blade right into the bottom of the boards. Sagan off the face-off win, whipped it, Lack with the pad stop. Ben to Sagan again, a shot off the post. Ben shot it, save Lack. Tie up in front, they were all crowded. Nemeth whipped it wide of the goal. Eakin to Ben, back of the net. Nemeth comes charging down into the corner with Christopher Tanev. Nemeth kicking it forward, backhanding it in off Edler, who takes it back of his net, and then reverses it. Took a good hit from Jamie Ben after so doing. Comes up, Hansen into the zone. Dropped it behind Horvat. Stars have the Canucks trap. Ben to the line with Sagan. Sagan finds it, Sagan centers it. Eakin in check. Dorset swung it across. Canucks shoot it in. Dorset ran with the mirrors in the corner. And McKenzie in there to find the puck. Out to Horkoff. Turn to catch it. Horkoff shooting it. Save lack. No rebound for either of those two young bucks in front of the net. Well, more of that Cavalier defending from the Vancouver Canucks from that phase. Yeah, get at him, Willie. Indeed, I would suspect <laughs> over there. The, the Stars win the draw, a quick whip chance, and then they just stand and watch the Stars. One off the pipe, another off their netminder lack. I mean, they're in the diamond uh, formation there, or the, the, the five-man dice, I believe it's called. But they just stood there and literally <laughs> witnessed the Stars scoring chances. Richie cranked that one and hit a skate, went to the boards. Alex Burrow shoots it into the Dallas zone. And Yoki Paka, the backhanded up the wall. Daniel Sedin holding it in. Horkoff shoved it across. Daniel diving, but McKenzie carries it forward into the Vancouver zone. Can't get around Yannick Weber. But known for his goal scoring prowess lately, Yannick Weber has a goal in each of his last three games. Demers trying to keep a bouncing puck in the zone. He does to McKenzie. That's Weber again. The Vancouver net is of no use to anyone right now. Some early shifts for the Sedin twins as the net gets thrown back on its moorings. Uh, you know, I find it interesting through two periods, and this, again, reflects what the Canucks do with their lines here. Bo Horvat, who's been good, why wouldn't he be playing a lot? But he's played a minute and a half more than Henrik Sedin in the game. Your number one center and your number four center, Willie Desjardins just went down and I think led into his captain about staying on the right side of the puck. He, he went cheating a little bit trying to get past Jason Demers, and they it, it almost cost the Canucks. Didn't do that fair in neutral ice. Spence is okay after that awkward collision with the end boards, which is good news. Spence did pick up his 40th assist the other night. It's the seventh time in his career he's had at least 40. Five times he's put up at least 50 assists. Olegoski takes it over the line, passes to Eves for a shot. He got it off, but it was blocked, and it's cleared. He gets those off very quickly. Hemsky left it for Spezza, turning away from Higgins, pivoting, finding Klingberg. He'll move it over, and then he's tripped up on his way into the zone. Hemsky finds the puck. 
Hemsky to Spezza, shot, that's blocked in front, Spezza, another cram play and a save by Lack. It's unlucky. Verbata dishing it back. That is beyond unlucky, it's a miracle that didn't go in. Bieksa was a disaster on that one, but they get away with it. Klingberg with the pass ahead, it comes right back to him off Hansen. Sagan chipped it away from Dorset. Eakin into the middle of the ice. And Eakin gloved it down. Here comes Ben on the trot. Can't get away from Edler. Passing forward, Hansen to the line. Horvat in the corner. Daly overtakes him. And Trevor after the puck. Up to Jamie Ben. Rink wide to Sagan. He wanted to cut inside on Edler. Slapped it forward. Hansen steers it deep. Canucks have come out with the attitude they have enough to win. Yep. They, it could be dangerous. They, they haven't tried to do anything other than defend. That's early in the period. Four love Dallas. Antoine Roussel moving ahead. Firing it over to Garbutt, who snuck in there. Ham use around the boards. Demers trying to hold the zone. Henrik Sedin with a clever little tap there. But he needs help. Doesn't get it. Good hit along the boards by Garbutt. That gives the Fiddler the puck. He shoots at save lack. Comes right back to Fiddler from Hamus. Now into the corner, Garbutt and Hamus jockey. Fiddler reached, couldn't find it. Just out of his reach, and Daniel Sedin comes to center ice. Turned away from Demers' hit. Burrows plowing into the corner with Yoki Pak up, and Yurki comes away with it. The Canucks continue to just pass their problems along their defense core, especially in their own zone. It, you would think it would become costly at some point. Garbutt out to center ice. Edler sends Higgins in, stepped away from Yoki Paka for a shot, a rising drive over the net. But Nino, Verbata's alone. Lettinen caught up to it, I think. Edler firing, that's also off the target. Bonino, a rare flurry here for the Canucks in the Dallas zone in the third period. Tanev shot, tipped by Higgins wide. Centering feed, Lettinen got over, and Klingberg again tripped up as he tried to move the puck forward. Higgins holds the zone. Bonino looking to Tanev. Tanev in front to Verbata, save Lettinen. Larson a big time, wow. Spezza took it away and shakes it back into Vancouver ice. What a flurry that was. They're awake at Rogers Arena. They'd be up by another goal if not for Kari Lettinen. Wow. Ten bell pad stop. Egan from the left of his own net. Hard Ben at center. Turned over the stick. Tipped it in, but it's icing against the Dallas Stars. We get another look at Kari's fine work. Man, oh man. What a perhaps game saver. Radim Verbata, who does nothing but score goals, has been bettered by Kari Lettinen in this building. Tanev makes a great play on this. Sweeps it across. He doesn't elevate it, but I don't think he could. Thought he could just beat the right pad of Lettinen and instead gets it, gets it spit right back at him again. Next goal will give him 30. It'll be his second career 30 goal campaign. He had 35 a few years ago with the Arizona Coyotes. He's their only double digit goal scorer at home. Hmm. They spread it around. Yep. 21 wins here, 22 on the road. Stars at 20 wins on the road also. It's home where they've struggled. Six Boy, the Canucks are on their forecheck here and now. They started the period in retreat. Now back to back shifts where they're after Dallas. Feeling it a little bit. Alex Edler from Christopher Tanev from center ice, firing it around the boards. Belagoski. Tenens overran the puck. McKenzie shot it out. It's rolling on edge back into Vancouver ice where BX acclaims. Borkov chasing him back. Pass Richie to center to Matthias. Touch feed to Kennens at the Dallas line. Nemeth again stepping up and not giving it to them cleanly. Kennens to Matthias. He was worried about Daly coming up on him. Nemeth keeping him along the boards. Kennens shot and then he's floored by McKenzie. Daly snuck it past Spiza at center. Richie with BX at a beat. Richie shooting it. Eddie Leck flicked at it, sent it out to center. Wow, there's an awful lot of junk away from the puck that's being let go right now, both ways. Now Fiddler picks it up and slaps it wide. 
right. It was a flip out of the Dallas zone. Both defensemen lost it, Spiza and Bieksa, completely. Garbutt and Roussel are in there, tenderizing things along the boards. Burrow shoots it down and barely icing against Vancouver. And that wouldn't, uh, this is a great advantage for Dallas. That wouldn't have made the icing line. Good work by Klingberg, too, on my dad. Slow up a little bit. Back down they go. The high flip, the dark art, here it is. They're up it goes, Nemeth leads it. They don't know where it is. Look at the two of them. Defensively, and Vern Fiddler paced one. Low glove side on Lack and misses by a fraction. A lot of missing the net. Both teams have done that tonight a lot, too. It was last night's goal. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Always, the coaches, I always say I hate shots I can hear. <laughs> Klingberg kept it in. Spezza turns to find it. BX to find Spezza along the boards. Nemski. Henrik Sedin leaning on him, but he whips it out. Here's Klingberg shooting it. Tipped in front wide of Black, who didn't see it. Spezza back of the net on the wrap around. They score! Patrick Eves crams it in, and it's a 2-2 game. All that because of that icing. The Sedins are not having a good game, especially in behind their own blue line. Stars come close on just a little flick from the blue line from John Klingberg, and then that quick wrap, and I mean quick, by Spezza to set it up. Second cram again, the Canucks guilty of just standing and staring at Dallas, and the Stars much hungrier. They get it back to level. Patrick Eves, 11th goal of the season. This is his 41st game. He's missed a ton with injuries, so he's on a 20-goal pace. Spezza and Goligoski with the assists. 7.55, 12 minutes of clock left in a 2-2 game here in Vancouver. I think Eves would be a good choice for the Masterton nominee for the Dallas Stars. Mm -hmm. Overcome some concussion issues. And he's a great guy. Oh, terrific. The nicest people you'll ever meet. Eakin shot that wide. Here's Sagan firing a rolling puck right into Lack's chest. What an odd carom off the end boards. That was, that's the, you know, it's a door board at the end, and it came straight to Sagan. Puck is jammed along the wall. It's under Cody Eakin. Dorset doesn't want to move it either, and they do something they rarely do, which is blow it dead along the boards. 11.28 remaining in the third period. Patrick Eves keeps hope alive. 2-2 game in Vancouver in the third. Big saves at key junctures, anybody? Yeah. It was early the last time the Stars were here that, that Kari Letton and stymied Radim Verbata. Here tonight, it was just prior to the Stars going the other direction and tying this game. Lickety split, lateral mobility from the big fin. That saved the first save of the game, uh, a brilliant one when the Stars were in here in December. Love hand side, it's a different game, obviously, if, if the Canucks can get ahead. He didn't give him anything that night. And Verbata's been, been scoring, and scoring a lot uh, for them. Seven goals in his last 11 games. The goal, though, that matters right now is this big cram right off the icing. Second whack. Henrik Sedin standing right next to Eves as he crammed that one in. So 8-3 in the period in favor of Dallas. Comes back into the star zone. Daly picks it up off Letnan. Here comes Trevor Daly. But Nino chopped it away. And Patrick Nemeth standing back of his net. In trouble. Daly also fighting through Higgins. Higgins takes the puck away. Daly going back at him in the corner. Rabata trailing the pile. Punched it along to Higgins. Four of them back there. The fifth is Horkoff. Tried to throw it up the boards. Bonino spins off the wall. Couldn't get the shot away. For the line. Weber shot. Lettinen has it. Not sure where, but he's got it. Man, it is do what you want. Prison rules down there right now. Want to play like the big boys? The Stars are making it easy for your child to learn how to skate and play hockey with the Little Rookies program. Designed by Mike Madano. equipment and instruction are free to boys and girls from 4 to 8 years old. For more information, visit DallasStars.com slash Little Rookies.
Stars have really packed it in defensively to help out their D down low. The, not just the center iceman down there, but a winger as well. The points are open for the Canucks. They're daring them to do something back there. Eakin won it. Ben tipped it out. And ten of the Edler inside the Canuck line. Sagan has an assist in the game. Ben's got a goal, and Lettinen will take another faceoff in his own. Well, here we are. The Stars have much improved in these second games of back-to-backs. Uh, they actually have a winning record in their last half dozen. So, complete 180 over earlier this year. And the Canucks have had their issues with teams that have come in here that have played the night before. Their record is just 9-6. and six. Yeah, that's not... That's yeah, awful. That's good, yeah. <laughs> Those are supposed to be... They're gifts. Yeah. Edler shot that. Dorset lingering. Will shove to Goligoski. Eakin coming in. Ben, too, to have the last word. Front of the net once again. They're establishing boundaries yeah. in front of Kari Lettinen. It's been busy in and around his crease here tonight. The latest. Push for position. Lean on it again. I mean, they're... I think it was Horkoff on that last scoring chance for the Canucks that just hooked them right out of the corner to the front of the net. For a game like this, just one power play aside. Dude. I guess. Okay. VX up. Dunks it back at the net. Burrows claiming a bouncing puck. There's Daniel. Spinning, shooting. Lettinen covers up. And... And they shove it over after the whistle, well after the whistle. Well, the, the Canucks in their top line have not been very good in their own zone. They have been much better and usually are at the other end of the rink where they're at right now. And, you know, the, the Stars win. And it seems like that's part of the equation for Dallas with this run they've had against the Canucks. I mean, they've won 10 of 13 since Tom Gillardi bought the Dallas Stars against Vancouver, which is big because he lives here. Right. And they've shut down the, the Canucks top duo and top line night in and night out. Clean faceoff win by Vern Fiddler. Spiza held the zone. Fiddler back to rocket it down the ice. And another faceoff. Well, mid-period, you, you, can, you can sense a little weariness seeping into some individuals I think on the stars and you know they're gonna have to rely on this Dallas has been a very good face-off team it's gone back and forth within the game here tonight Fiddler one of the top guys for the stars and lots of eager shot blockers I mean everybody should be a goalie for Dallas here now Bonino and Fiddler Goligoski claims the puck launching it toward the line Roussel trying to get in there with Tanev he got in there first. Fiddler finds the puck. Shot it lack. Catches it and holds on. Sends us to break. 9.46 to play in the third period. Stars 2, Canucks 2 at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. I think it's the first appearance of the Chicago Blackhawks in the Slick Six, is it not? <laughs> They're having a rough finish to the season, but there the Stars are. Uh, Colorado won. They beat yep. Buffalo 4-0 today so they've moved alongside both the Dallas Stars and the San Jose Sharks with 82 points those three teams back of the Winnipeg Jets who hold the final wild card eight points up and the games remaining is becoming as problematic as anything else here's Ben looking Ben shot it off the side of that billowing net again do more of that I again I can't implore them enough to fire stuff from sharp angles and go to the net Demers taking Dorset off the puck and away from the play. And Gonna get Demers for holding. It looked like holding the stick. Or just a straight hold. Let's have a look. Another high flip. The high flip is a very productive play here in the third period. Boy, for all the stuff that yeah. has been let go in the game tonight, please. He was grappling with Dorset, and there was as much grappling from Derek Dorset as there was from Jason Demers. Second power play of the game for Vancouver. They are one for one. Higgins scored earlier after Lettinen was knocked into by Trevor Daly, lost his stick. Starts to win this puck, and Daly shoots it off Weber and into the Dallas bench, so the faceoff will come out to center ice. 
You mentioned uh, Weber earlier uh, and how he's really the Canucks' hottest scorer right now. Eight goals in his last 31 games as a defenseman, and he's on the power play because of that shot. You got two guys that can boom it pretty good back there, and Edler and him. Swiss born defenseman. Daly with some time. He broke his stick shooting it out. He's right next to the Dallas bench. Goligoski hops on for him and makes the play. Alex, been, he's been so alert. He's been terrific here tonight. That is a super alert play. Edler snapped it over. Roussel trying to steal it and go against Weber. And Roussel goes down in an attempt to even the call. But now he'll just tie some clock up. Three Canucks it takes to poke the puck loose. Verbata walked into Eakin, but it's on to Daniel Sedin. Vancouver to the Dallas line. Henrik down the wing, got past Ben. Eakin fought back with the stick. Henrik in the corner. Daniel somehow snuck it past Goligoski. Verbata out to Edler at the line. Edler to Verbata taking the middle. Cranked it back out to Weber. Now to Edler. In front, tipped wide by Verbata. Henrik Sedin to Daniel Sedin, back of the net. 55 left on the power play, it's Edler. Over to Henrik, out to Weber, a shot, Lettinen, it sticks right to him. Perfect lane to get to that one, and comes out and absorbs it, devours it. That's that big blast, though. Right in the middle of the ring, look at him, he's got it cocked, uncorks it, past Jamie Benn. And Kari says, nope, that's the ender. He's been stellar here again tonight. He was their best player last night. He's won 18 games on the road. He's 18-6-2 away from home. And he has the stars here level with the Canucks. Fiddler shoots this out. Tandem will go back and get it. Only lost today, so Vancouver hanging on to their spot, but there are going to be so many big point totals in the West this season. There could be 12 90-point teams. There were eight of them last year. Big tie up in the corner. Scraped along and Fiddler wants to go. He will go with Daly at center ice. Amu spies Daly. Daly on the wing to Ben off the bench. Ben sneaking in with Tannen back of the goal. 15 seconds left on the Vancouver power play. Burroughs crushed by Goligoski at the line. Eakin and Ben fight for it. Ben twisting away, takes the zone. And then he'll walk it back out to center ice and rag what's left on this power play. Goligoski taking it from referee Ian Walsh. Demers is on, and so the Stars with a big kill here in a 2-2 game late. Really only asked Kari to make one save on that. Edler turned it over to Spezza. Spezza got to center and shot it in. Black unable to cut it off back of the net. Dorset finding it in stride. Left wing to Hansen at the Dallas line. He'll stop, shoot it wide of the net. Weber at the right point. Knocking it back of the net. Daly and Horvat come together. Klingberg trying to chisel it loose. Up the boards, Hemsky hanging on to Weber. Horvat back of the net to Dorset, then he goes to the front of the net. Now he goes behind it as Dorset comes to the corner. Trying to navigate away from Klingberg. Dorset starting and stopping. And moving chain in the Dallas zone. Wraparound attempt from Horvat, sealed off by Kari Letton, and he gets the whistle. Another shift that brings a rise out of the locals from that trio. And Bo Horvat in eight days will be 20, so he's still a teenager. Only scored one goal in the first three and a half months of the season. He's got 11 in the last two and a half, and they, they love him here. You know, it's, it's a lot like Nachushkin stepping in last year with the Stars. Don't really know what you're going to get out of the teenager, and then you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Tonight's an oh, my God for sure for him. Val's playing his second game, by the way, with the Texas Stars tonight. Played 17 minutes last night. Came out of it okay. Richie going in there against Bieksa. Up now in the Vancouver zone. Alex Burrows. Up to Daniel Sedin. Shooting it in, letting him back of the net. They'll heave it along. BX had turned to skate blades to keep it alive for Vancouver deep in the zone. Daniel to Henrik in close quarters, centering feed for Burroughs. Spees a following up, back of the net. Shot from Spees on the feed from Daniel. And Demers gets to the puck off the save and clears. What a difference, though, in the defending by Dallas after the attempt at the net compared to what the Canuck D have done in front of Eddie Lack at times. Way more scrap. 
Now Nemeth and Benino back of the Dallas net. Eakins there for the puck. The Trevor Daly banking it ahead to Sagan. He's got a step. Tyler Sagan scores! Didn't miss that one, and it's 3-2 Dallas. He didn't miss it, and the play was actually made at center ice when Sagan and Edler click skates, and the big Canuck defenseman goes down. Nice outlet pass initially. Once he got around the corner, boy, I tell you what, Eddie Lack made his move real early. Usually it's it's a battle between the shooter and the goaltender as to who's going to commit first. Lack just committed and waited. Sagan walked in, had a lot of net to look at on the short side, put it right there. That is not top grade net mining, that is an elite goal scorer. Trevor Daly and Cody Eakin with the assist. Sagan's 34th of the season, 3-2 Dallas with 5.25 to play. Oligoski ahead to Fiddler. And this one flicked by Weber out of play. So we'll take our final break in regulation. Tyler Sagan, one of the best, has him on top, 3-2. To well, a semi-jubilant Stars bench as Dallas has taken the lead here in Vancouver. 3-2 to two over the Canucks, as promised earlier. Miller time right here, right now. Brought to you by Miller Lite. There was that icing plate. There was, you know, a, a borderline hissy fit from the Canucks. I think on two different levels. One, there was a pinching defenseman for Dallas that Verbata hacked that puck pass. And... Obviously, there was a circuitous route to the puck by Young Klingberg. Anyway, in the aftermath, Stars down at the other end. Eves pokes one home. They get it to level. And then on the gallop, Tyler Sagan in full retreat. Eddie Lack, there's your go-ahead goal. And perhaps we'll see what happens over the last five and a half minutes of regulation. Might be your GWG. Face off to Eddie Lax right, then 520 left in the third. Spets and Benino. Stemski chasing Weber, puts it back in the net. So Daly back on the sheet after his return tonight. He was ready. Jordy bent out with back pain. Benino into the zone, shot it. Goligoski tipped it over the top of the net. He's been so good. Spets up, back of the net. Goligoski trying to keep Higgins away. Shook him off, gave it to Klingberg, and he'll flip it, put some English on it. It curls in on Lack, who lets it go wide anyway, despite the fact they had called the icing. And negated the icing. Sagan, Ben, and Eakin back out here for the Stars. Tyler with a goal and a helper in the game. Edler across the ice. Horvat tied up by Eakin. Sagan backhands it in. Edler back in the net. Ben will chase him up the ice, forced to move to Tanev. Leaning to his right, Eakin blocked the shoot-in attempt. And in front of the Dallas bench, Sagan escapes, gave it to Ben. Ben to Sagan, Sagan shooting high and just wide. Sagan again in front to Ben, he couldn't turn his stick on it. Eakin threw it into the corner. Horvat playing it along, Nemeth gloved it ahead. Eakin coming up with the puck. It hit a Canuck, so the play stays moving. Curtis McKenzie. And Brett Ritchie barnstorming in the Vancouver zone. Horvat up the wing to Dorset. Chipped it past Demers. He'll go after it. Demers goes after Dorset in the corner. Burroughs sneaking in there. Shot it off the back of the net. Moved in front and Spiza cleared it to the corner. Dorset. Henrik Sedin goes to the front of the net, and Demers fought it out. Good work by Ritchie, too, uh, on Spiza at the point. Now McKenzie on Dorset. These kids have been great. Richie banks it to the Vancouver line. BX a back. Stars looking to change. Puck floated off Henrik Sedin. Went off Klingberg's glove. Daniel Sedin protecting the puck. Gave it to Henrik. Back to Daniel. They're standing right next to each other along the boards. Three stars are there. To the line. BX a firing. Letton made the stop. It's loose in front. And Klingberg took Verbata down. Goligoski back of the net. Slung it up the board. Spiexa swung and missed, trying to keep a bouncing puck in. And then he moves it forward quickly. Up come the Canucks. Henrik to Daniel at the line. Daniel shot it. Verbata was cutting to the net. He couldn't deflect it. 
Roussel will drag it out to center ice. Take the line and then punch it in and go after it. Hamu sticks it to the boards. Weber is able to slide it past Garbutt. And Verbata up ahead. Pace is increased here. Final two and a half minutes. Stars lead it three to two in Vancouver. And out comes Alish Hemsky, a two-on-one with Patrick Eves. Hemsky to Eves. Eves a shot, save Lack. Hemsky curling out with the puck. Hemsky in the high slot. Dropped it back to Demers. He fires high and wide. And Lyndon Vay. That pass, Eves was able to knock down with his stick, or with his skate, and Hemsky will shoot it over. 2.05 remaining in the third. Hamus back of his net. And the Canucks throw it up the middle. Daly went down to block it and then puts it on in. Dorsett goes across the ice for Hansen. Nemeth gets over there first. Eakin is able to throw it out. Canucks have people offside. They tag up. Edler bringing it over. Black looking at the Vancouver bench. Ben tossing it out to Sagan. Edler got back. It's going to be a penalty. He slashed the uh, stick out of Edler's hand in the view of the official. So with a minute and a half to go in regulation, the Canucks are going to go on the power play. Tyler Sagan's taking two penalties at home, but a couple, I think, on the road. <laughs> taking a lot of penalties on the road. Chance earlier. Tough play. Right shot over on the left-hand side. He had to... Patrick Eves, one of the goal scorers here in the third. That is much of a slash. It looked like a big one to the official, and Tyler sits and sin and will be a cheerleader for the remainder of regulation here. Nothing's easy. Make your hair turn gray. 132 remaining in the game. Keep an eye on Eddie Lack as well. He's up between the circles. Fiddler and Henrik Sedin. Canucks win it. Weber keeps it in. There goes Lack to the bench. Extra attacker coming. Adler pumps it. Save Lettman. Rebound loose. Bravada can't find it. Kari does. Kari's been able to keep either control his rebounds or keep the puck in front of him rather than stuff going off of his body and on angles. Whereas you don't have as good a chance to, to make saves. You have to travel distance. Mad scrambles, he handles the screen in front. It's a couple of times though, the Sedins have moved out of the way early and allowed that view for Kari Lett, and that works well. Fiddler and Henrik this time on the near dot. 123 to play, empty net at the other end. Stars can ice the puck because they're shorthanded. Shoot at the empty net without being whistled. Henrik wins it. Edler from the left point. To the corner for Henrik. Benino off to the side, Daniel shot it, save Lettman, Daniel again, save Lettman, loose puck, Verbata firing, he scores! Well, their best goal scorer on a fadeaway, number 17, Comes kind of out of the pile in behind. It, mad scramble twice in front. Peels away and rips it. Nemeth was making a door, not a window in front of Kari Lettinen. Trying to handle it. Was, man, it, it was doing you want in front of that. And a very, very iffy penalty on Sagan in neutral ice. Gives the Canucks the equalizer with a buck 10 to go in regulation. Verbata's 30th, power play, extra attacker goal for the Canucks. Now the minute remaining, it's a 3-3 game. Goligoski, tipped, Sagan takes it away. He takes the line with Edler dragging on him. Sagan pivoting, following up, bends loose in front. He couldn't find the puck, it was behind him, and Dorset clears it. Hansen. This frantic finish continues. Sagan tips it on to Ben. Ben shooting. Blocked by Weber. Ben plowing through. Sagan back to the net. Twisting. There's Daly firing it. That one's blocked and it comes all the way out to center ice. This Benino and Daniel Sedin get the assists on that goal. 
20 seconds left in regulation. Hemsky going in after the puck. Weber has it in the corner. Hemsky tying up two Canucks. Spets at Eves. He couldn't get the shot away. Still bouncing in the Canucks. Still standing around the front of their net. Spezza going after Benino in the corner. A couple of seconds left. Benino hits Spezza. No call. There's the horn, and we're going to overtime. Probably fitting. The way they got there, maybe not so much. A couple of power play goals for the Canucks in the game. But two desperate clubs in desperate need of points. Dallas Stars and the Vancouver Canucks. Overtime is next. Well, the guy who put the Stars ahead was the guy in the box when the Canucks tied it. Tyler Sagan has been all over this third period. Started with uh, that little hack. The sequence of events late here in the third. With you, Tyler. Wendy Ruff, same thing. Hang on to your stick. In the mad scramble, they were exfoliating Benino in front of the net. Sagan died a little bit. At least he didn't have to deal with the green men outside the penalty box. Yeah. And the Canucks get it to level. They earn a point. The Stars get a point. They'll play in overtime here to see who gets the extra single digit. This guy, it's, it's goal scores. Hey, you knew once Sagan got clear and free on that breakaway that he was going to score. And you had a feeling once Verbata was free and clear with the chaos going on in front of Kari Lettinen that he was going to find Twine and both did. Well, for the Stars, they have two overtime wins in the four on four this season. At the New York Rangers, Alex Hemsky got it. Cody Eakin scored against the New York Islanders. Five and two are the Canucks as Eakin comes breezing in off the face-off win. He's out here with Spetsa, Klingberg, and Goligoski. Hamus lost to Eakin. Eakin centers. Goligoski shooting it. That's blocked in front. Hit either Spetsa or Weber. Now Spetsa chasing Weber out to center ice to the Dallas line. Klingberg will pick him up. The backhanded around. Daniel Sedin is out there with guess who? There's Henrik. Walked away from Spezza. Daniel trying to open up for the pass that misses him and goes all the way back into Vancouver ice for changes. I know one guy who'd like to score right here. Actually two of them. Ben and Sagan out there together. Here's Verbata. This could be good. Adler. Demers shoved him. Puck goes around the boards. Tanev holding the zone. Benino mislocated the puck, but then taps it out to Tanev. Moves it over to Edler. Back out to Tanev. Shot from Benino. Pad stop Lettinen in the slot. Ben will take it to safety. Out to Daly. There goes Trevor. He's got a step. And the pass to Demers. He wasn't looking for it. Edler crawling through center ice. Shooting it in and around the boards. Lettinen stopping it back of the net. Daly over skating it. Then has to play quickly over to Demers. Hemsky off the bench. Hemsky shot it into the corner. Bieksa, quick up, Hemsky steals it. Passing it over to Klingberg. Here comes John Klingberg into the zone, gave it to Horkoff, a shot, save Lack, rebound, Hemsky to Klingberg. Can't shoot it, dishing it off. Firing is Goligoski, that's blocked. Hemsky, back out to Alex. And his pass to Hemsky. Comes back out to center ice. Canucks grab it. Hansen moving it over. Shooting it to the wing. Bieksa picked off Klingberg right there. Orkoff comes in for the puck. To Klingberg at the line. He'll slow it down. And then curl away from Henrik Sedin. Put it back in the net. Hamus gave it to Henrik. Henrik and Daniel with two stars back. One of them is Spezza. The other is Nemeth. Daniel has to curl out. Gave it to Hamus. Out to Daniel. Finding Henrik. It went off his stick and into the corner. Midway through the overtime. Already a couple of close calls. Nemeth gets away from Benino. Dragging him with him to the Vancouver line. Nemeth all the way in. Shooting it. Save Lack. Eakin muscling his way through along the boards. To Trevor Daly at the line. Daly works his way against Weber on the backhand. Daly off to Sagan, in front to Eakin, save Lack. Wow, 
Weber gave Cody Egan a couple of dirty shots. Maybe anything out of that. Big stop by Lack. It almost caromed in though that sharp angle, little funnel to the front of the net. Almost caromed in off their own defender. Great work by Eakin again to win a puck. I think it was Edler in front. Watch this. Almost goes off him. Comes right back out in front. They just spun like tops at times in front of Lack. And point blank, bang! Into the body and smothered by Lack. Horvat and Ben to Lack's right with 201 left in the overtime. Ben tries to go forward. Horvat pushes it ahead to Tanev. Horvat going after the puck. Daly wrapping him up. Horvat gets away, feeds the line to Tanev. Hansen's in front of the net. Yoki Pocket trying to shove him out of there. Tanev's shot went wide. Hansen out to the line. Adler firing just wide. Loose in front off Lettinen. Hansen's got a look. Lettinen makes the stop. It's between his legs and they give him the whistle. And then he gets hammered pretty good in the aftermath. Well, he was in an awkward spot when he got run into. Boy, that, that bomb from Adler just missed. Curry's taking a moment. First shot goes well wide, but when they got it back and reloaded the cannon way up top, this one, boom. And it was sitting around. It was loose after that chance for Hansen, and the cram right in front of the net. I always worry about goaltender's knees on these ones. He's down and gets rocked back on him. Look at where the ref is. <laughs> Referee actually blowing his whistle in behind Kari and leaning on the crossbar. Big Finn's okay. Been a frenetic overtime period here. Good look from in behind Lettinen. Good work off to the side. Off on the flank by Trevor Daly. E, squeeze him. <laughs> Face off to Kari's right shots, 38-35 Dallas with 134 to play in overtime. Burroughs wins it, but turned it over to Hemsky. Hemsky and Spezza, maybe a two-on-one here. Hemsky moving in, a shot, save Lack. Well, he hit him right in the logo with that one. I don't know whether that puck jumped maybe a bit on him at the end. This is an uh, aggressive play by Spezza, the defenseman. Number five goes in after it. Instead, they turn the puck over, it stars on the rush, never jumped. It's just where he put it. He scored a lot of goals for the Stars in that fashion, wafting in and spanking it past netminders. That time right into the belly. Spets is moving people around. With Bonino, Spets wins it. Goligoski reaches out to find it at the line. Passes to Klingberg. Klingberg in front. Hemsky curling it back out to Goligoski. Lack is fumbling around in front. Goligoski. Behind the net, setting up for the shot from Hemsky, blocked in front. Klingberg holding it in. Pass to Hemsky in midair. The Exel take over back of his net. Stars get changes. A minute remaining in the overtime. Here comes Verbata from the wing. Lettinen kicked it out with the pad. Eakin, the Lays gave it to Trevor Daly. Here he comes to Klingberg. Klingberg shooting, he scores! John Klingberg wins the game for the Stars. They have to score four a lot of nights, and a lot of nights they score four. Nice to have Trevor Daly back in the Stars lineup for this. It's just shooter and goaltender, and Klingberg is better. Daly with his wheels, trots his way up. D-man to D-man. They back in, and he wires one high blocker on Eddie Lack from the top of the circle. Painted the corner pretty good. Gets the Stars the valuable extra point, and they win again. So the Dallas Stars stay alive. Beating the Vancouver Canucks 4-3 in overtime, taking two of three on the road trip. The Stars 
now won five of their last six again. They'll head home to play the Calgary Flames on Monday night. Tonight's game produced by Jason Walsh, directed by Mark Vittorio. The associate producers are John Sponsler, Doug Foster, and Cody Eastwood. For Daryl Ray and an unbelievable crew here at Rogers Arena, I'm Ralph Strand. Just hang in there. Postgame show's coming up next.